Good morning, everybody. It is, it's like 9.30, and I don't move until 4, but got to start the day early, right? I shower, I'm ready to go packing up my car with the stuff that's at my dad's, and I'm heading to my mom's. We've got to finish things up, but I'm excited. I'm ready. I actually slept a lot last night. I was going to think, you know, I wasn't going to be able to sleep, but I slept a lot. And I'm not stressed out, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so the day just started. I already have to do my first goodbyes, and I'm super sad, and I might cry, but it's my doggies. I gotta say bye to my doggies. Mm, sorry, baby. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. Mm, Judy's neck. This is Judy. This isn't even my dog. My little chunky rat. I'm gonna miss you too. I'm gonna miss all of you. Oh, she's one of you. All right, it's time to pack up the cars. Um, I have a lot of stuff. So we've packed up my car. I assume there's this So, uh, you, Mom. Mom, why are you just looking like that? This is my mom. <laughs> Say hi, Mom. Mom, why are you There's Dad. Like Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Sure. There's Mom, my stepdad. Okay. Well, this is where we're packing. I'm doing so much work. I'm heavy lifting. See, mm -hmm. I love packing. There's my car right there. It's full. Mm -hmm. That car is full. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like your bed's full. There's just more stuff. Every time, there's um, more stuff. What if we take the more that I little... Look, the more hey, Sean, stuff. what if we take the... Um, is your back seat full? Yeah, how much? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You're going to miss me? Yeah. How much? That much? That's a lot. Who's your favorite sister? Z. Exactly. Good job. I love you. Love you. Come here, kids. Oh. Say bye. Bye. Say, so I'm Emmy. I'm Emmy. I'm going to see you in our next video. So, we have like four things left to get in the car. And then I'm going to chill and hang out with my family for a little bit more because... We can't leave till like 1.30 because I can't get there till 4. It's about a two-hour drive. We're going to stop, get some lunch, everything. So I'm super excited. I think I have everything I need. I've been stressed. But we're about to leave, and I'm going to drive there. So I'll see you on the way out. I'm bringing everything, and then if, like, stuff doesn't fit, I'm going to take my winter clothes home because, I mean, it's not that far of a drive. But I want to have everything I need. And my mom bought me shoe holders because I have like 20 pairs of shoes. Like, who needs 20 pairs of shoes? I need 20 pairs of shoes. But so we're going to do that. So the cars are all packed. I'm super excited. Like, I'm super excited. I get to meet my roommate for the first time. We've been talking for like months. And I finally get to meet her. She's already moved in. Um, we're going to go up there. And it's going to be great. So I'll see you in Maryville. All right, we're heading out, heading to Maryville. Say bye, Blue Spree. Two hours later. Okay, so we just got here. I went inside, I checked in. It was super easy. They were super nice in there. Got my keys and now I'm ready to move everything into my dorm. And in love. Say hi, Haley. Hi. So excited. I'm doing so much work. Just kidding, I'm not. I have to carry this. Say hi from the elevator. Getting up. Everything's in. Now all we have to do is move around.
All right, so we just got done unpacking everything and there was a lot of stuff, maybe too much, but that's okay. And so we're gonna head to Walmart and we're gonna get more stuff and then we'll be back later to show you the room. So I finally got all moved in and I'm so excited and I just, I don't know what to do now. Like I'm here, like I feel like it's gonna be so weird knowing. And I feel like the experience was super easy and I loved it and so, I don't know, like it was pretty cool. My room's all done, it looks really good. I think it looks really good. It's gonna be dirty in like two days probably. But right now it looks nice and clean and put together. So now we've seen what I did. I went this whole day. You've seen me moving in, you've seen how long it took, you saw all of that. And so I'm gonna go for some tips. Um, so I got, I checked in at four. Um, it was like 4.20 when I got here, but whatever. So I got here like 4.20, my parents didn't leave, we didn't get my room completely set up until like 7.30. Literally, and we went to Walmart, got all our stuff, and everything is nice and pretty, and I think, I think it looks really good. I'm super excited. But a couple of things that I wish I would've known. So number one, the, the biggest thing, don't overpack, literally don't overpack. Like I overpacked like crazy, I had to send a whole bunch of stuff home. So I would come up with less, cause you can always go to the store and get more. So if you don't have like all your decorations and stuff, cause you can always go to the store and get more. And if you live super close, like I do, I'm gonna go home in two weeks for my sister's birthday. And so I can always go grab more stuff or you're gonna go home for this or that. And you can always bring up more clothes or take home clothes or something like that. So don't overstuff your room because then it'll just be chaotic and the move-in takes forever and you're here for three hours and you're all stressed and you're like, this doesn't fit, this doesn't fit. So definitely don't overpack. Like bring, like size down. Like you don't need 100 t-shirts at myself, but I feel like you should definitely size. Don't, don't overpack. That's number one, biggest thing. Number two, I think it made me super comfortable that I already knew my roommate. So I'm not, we're not like from the same place or anything. We haven't, it's like our first time meeting in person, but if you meet your roommate before, so like if you figure them out, like we knew each other back in like December, we figured out we we're gonna be roommates, we Snapchatted, we texted, we talked, we went on FaceTime, we figured out what room we wanted together, like it makes everything super easy because she was super like easy to talk to as soon as I got here, she helped a whole bunch and it was great. So number two, for move-in day, no, meet your roommate before. Even if you don't like, even if it's like you just text each other or something, just get to know them a little bit so that it makes move-in day a lot easier. Number three, um, bring, bring whoever you want to help like if you're allowed to i mean we were allowed to bring as many people as we wanted and i feel like that makes it better because if you're surrounded by your family on this day it's easier to move in and especially because it will be less stressful because they'll also give you help and they'll know more than you do and you don't have to do it all by yourself so ask for help bring your family it's super great um another thing that i wish i would have known before is to get shoe organizers get drawer organizers get lots of hangers hanger organizers and make your closet smaller because this is tiny like there's no room for anything so bring different organizers baskets um shoes drawers literally anything maybe even more shelves or something like that because you'll need it because there's a lot of stuff and even if it's like you don't think you have that much stuff you have a lot of stuff because this room is tiny tiny Overall, I think the experience today was great. I loved it, it was so easy, everybody's so nice, people just wanting to help, you just bring all your stuff in. Um, and it's great, they have so many activities that I'm doing later tonight, tomorrow and stuff like that. And so I think moving was a success. My room is awesome, I'm so excited. And yeah, so that's it. I'm Kinsey Peterman. Hopefully you'll see from more from me this year. So I'm so excited. So like the video. If you moved in recently or you're ready to move in or you experienced moving in a couple years ago and you totally understand what I'm saying, um, subscribe to this channel. It's gonna be great. Um, if you wanna see more of me, make sure you follow Northwest's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook for any information you might need. And you follow me on my Instagram. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys later. My Bearcat Life is a vlog series featuring student life at Northwest Missouri State University. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to comment any video recommendations below.